The Shadowkeep DLC brought a handful of new gear alongside the Moon Destination, and today I'm going to explain how the weapon quest system works, how to craft them, and go over the nightmare hunts, because there's a few things you might not know about them. The most important thing you should know starting off is that you can obtain some of these weapons or armor as actual drops, completely bypassing the need for a quest. Completing things like the Eris Morn's Powerful Bounty or the Weekly Challenge for the Nightmare Hunts gives you a weapon or armor piece from the moon. But unless you've actually acquired the quest for an item, you won't be able to craft it yourself. What's cool is instead of having to always craft everything with your hard-earned phantasmal cores, a lot of these quests that are available also drop in the wild for free, and that's what I'm going to be covering today as well as how to complete each of them. This video has spoilers for the campaign slash Deathbringer quest, so if you're watching this, be warned. It appears the quest we have access to right now include the light machine gun, the grenade launcher, the auto rifle, the sniper rifle, the SMG, the hand cannon, and the sword, as well as the full set of Dreambane armor. It doesn't seem like there is a source for the shotgun or fusion rifle quest yet, although it seems like those two do have a chance to drop from the Eris Morn Powerful Bounty and the Nightmare Hunt Weekly Challenge. Also, the Pulse Rifle is rumored to be part of the new dungeon releasing later this season, so that one is not going to be obtainable for a little bit. If I can find more info about the shotgun and fusion rifle quests, I'll update the description. You can see here at my Lectern of Enchantment, I've unlocked all of the Dreambane armor and all of the currently known weapon quests, missing are the shotgun and the fusion. The Dreambane armor is unlocked throughout the campaign, and you're rewarded with the quests, or more like a bounty, for each of them as you progress through. Once you've acquired a piece, it has a chance to drop again in the wild. The same thing goes for weapons, however they aren't given out so easily. Most of the weapon quests are random drops, but they do have some triggers similar to the ones from Gambit Prime that seem to cause the weapon quest to spawn. First, let's start with Nightmare Hunts. Each Nightmare Hunt has a specific name, and that name directly corresponds to an Essence quest. The Nightmare Hunt Insanity, where you fight the Fanatic, has a chance to drop the quest Essence of Insanity, which rewards the Grenade Launcher. The Nightmare Hunt Anguish, where you face Omnigal, has a chance to drop the Essence of Anguish, which rewards the Dreambane Leg Armor. And the Nightmare Hunt Despair, where you fight Crota, has a chance to drop the Essence of Despair, which rewards the Dreambane Class Item. This means you can run those Nightmare Hunts over and over and farm the quest for the weapons and armor instead of using materials to buy them from your Lectern. The Nightmare Hunts also have a chance to drop Nightmare Mods from the final boss. If you're frustrated and confused as to where they went, you can thank the Elemental Affinity system for that. When the mods drop, it drops either Solar, Arc, or Void. This means the mod only shows up under its matching armor type, and on a very certain armor piece. Pay attention to what the mod drops as, and then you can find it on that type of armor. With that knowledge of knowing that certain quests are tied to certain Nightmare Hunts, we know there's going to be more Nightmare Hunts coming soon, and I think them rotating three a week is a safe assumption to make, and this means whatever they're titled, that's the quest they're going to drop. So if a new Nightmare Hunt shows up next week, and it's called Nightmare Hunt Brutality, you know that's going to drop the Essence of Brutality quest. I'll of course update the description once any new Nightmare Hunts roll around. As for the other weapons, after interrogating a few friends and listening to you guys in the comments, I've come up with a rough idea of how to trigger some of these other quests to drop out in the wild. The light machine gun called Fine Memorial appears to drop most often from Eris Morn bounties. I received the quest for it twice from opening bounties that just rewarded XP. The submachine gun called Every Waking Moment appears to drop most often from opening chests. This can be lost sector chest or chest just out in the wild. To get this one, I equipped a ghost shell with a perk treasure hunter and kept doing circles around Sorrow of Harbor, killing nightmares and opening their chest, as well as any world chests scattered around the location. The weapon itself is also given to you when opening the chest after giving Eris Morn the necklace as part of the Deathbringer questline. But like I said earlier, while you get the SMG, you don't actually get the quest for it, meaning you can't craft it yourself. The sniper rifle dropped multiple times for me from opening chest from completed public events. The auto rifle appeared to drop most often from looting the chest dropped by high value targets, regardless of whether or not you even saw or damaged the HVT. 
The sword quest is first given to you while opening the secret vault in the K1 Revelation Lost Sector up north in Sorrow of Harbor, also part of the Deathbringer quest. The sword quest is not really much of a quest, there's no steps other than just go back to the lectern and craft it immediately. In the wild though, the swords seem to drop from defeating nightmares and opening their chest. And the hand cannon is given to you by Eris Morn when you complete the campaign, so that one's hard to miss, although I haven't actually seen it drop in the wild yet, so this one will probably be tied to one of the nightmare hunts. So most of these are random drops, and you'll increase your chances of getting the quest to drop the more activities you participate in. So try and do a little bit of everything if possible. But hopefully the sources I listed are actually helpful, since it seems like the sources have a higher drop rate for those specific quests, although it could be a complete coincidence. So once you acquire a weapon or armor piece, then you have the option to reacquire the quest for it from your Lectern of Enchantment for one Phantasmal Core. These cores are earned from Eris Morn bounties and from stacking up enough Phantasmal Fragments to be able to buy a core. So the gameplay loop for the moon is going out and doing activities on the moon, like nightmare hunts, killing nightmares out in the wild, like in Sorrow's Harbor, and doing various activities to earn these fragments, turn them in for phantasmal cores, and then using those cores you can rebuy these short quests to grind for different roles on the weapons and armor, kind of similar to the Black Armory Forges, minus having to return to Ada every 5 minutes. Not to mention you also have a chance of getting the quest free out in the wild, which is a nice bonus that rewards you for playing so you don't always have to cough up your valuable resources just to grind for another role. Now every single weapon quest besides the sword requires you to go out and find an item for crafting. Good news is you'll only ever have to pick up this item once and never again. Luckily I've got an entire playlist of really quick videos for each of these quests that show you exactly where to get the item for each weapon, and if I come across the shotgun or fusion, I will add those videos to it. It's in the description, it's super helpful if you're unfamiliar with the moon locations or just want to quickly find the item and move on. Hopefully this clears some things up, we still don't know how everything is going to work yet, we've still got more nightmare hunts and higher difficulty nightmare hunts coming, and I'm sure plenty more stuff to be revealed. If you want to add anything in the comments or confirm my suspicions about certain sources, please do. The more information we have, the better. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.